Hello, my name is Joe Laird from Perk Yeoman Bicycles in Schwanksville, Pennsylvania, and we're here tonight to show you how to use our flat pack that we're selling now. It has all the essentials you'll need to change a flat on the trail. I've met many people on the trail here. I ride it several times a week that are not prepared for this event when it happens, and uh, this will help you get back on the trail and get going without walking four miles. All right, the first thing you want to do is uh, release the brake, the front brake, and all you have to do is squeeze the caliper together and pull the cable out. Then you just release the skewer, turn it a couple times, and out she comes. Next thing you want to do is break the bead of the tire. Now the levers that are provided in your flat pack will help you do that. And all you really need to do is get in under the bead of the tire and you can hook the first one to a spoke like that. Peel the tire off just like that. We, we provide you with a new tube of your size in your flat pack. Now, what you want to do that's really crucial here is make sure there's any debris in the tire. Make sure that whatever caused this doesn't happen to you again when you put your new tube in. So what we want to do, find the, uh, the hole for the valve, press that in there, pull the tire back over the tube and feed the tube back into the rim. Just like that. So now what you'll do, from the opposite end of the valve, start just pushing in so that the tube is completely on the rim itself. Just like that. Just work your way around until you get to the last little piece here. There it goes. Now in your flat pack, you're gonna have a CO2 kit. So you have a cylinder, and which is the charge for this, and it just threads right into the nozzle. You thread that in until it pinches it. So once you have it threaded on to the nozzle, you just push this on to the valve head, and then this moves independently, and you just air the tire up. You're not pumping anything up, you know, with a hand pump. Pull that off, and you're good to go. See how easy this is when you have the right stuff? A lot easier than walking four miles, right? Turn that a couple times until it starts to grab at about 12 o'clock, right about there, and then just squeeze that in. Then you gotta reattach your front brake, just like that, pull the little rubber back over it. Make sure it spins freely so that you're not dragging one brake or the other, and it does. And that's all there is to it.